Hey friends, this is the last of our evening encouragements for this round. It's, it's day 40. <laughs> Thanks for spending 40 days with me and for letting me spend 40 days with you around the Word of God. If you'd like to stay in touch between our rounds of evening encouragements, uh, look, in, look in some of the descriptions around this video and you should find a link to sign up for my personal email. I'll send you occasional emails every once in a while just to check in with you, give you some encouragement, and it won't be too long before we start another round of these evening encouragements, picking up where we left off here. Well, we're leaving in Joshua chapter 10. Joshua and the Israelites, with the help of God, of course, have just taken down the five armies, the five cities that had rallied against them and did that in tremendous ways. God confused their enemies. God made the sun stand still, listening to Joshua's prayer. And God sent hailstones from heaven and pelted, pelted the enemies and took them out for Joshua and the Israelites. Said, At the end of this great victory, the Bible says, there's never been a day like this before or after. Never. And then it says, surely the Lord was with Israel. <laughs> that's one day in the history of the world that's truly one of a kind. But you know, the day between Good Friday and Easter is a day like that too. I can't imagine the grief in Jesus' disciples' hearts, the disciples who still didn't have a complete understanding of what was going to happen who had heard Jesus say he was going to rise from the dead, but, but living through that, even if you were holding on to that promise with all your faith, that would have been a hard promise to hold on to because you saw him die. You saw him buried. And God was quiet. God was quiet. The next day, of course, Easter morning, Jesus would be alive. He would be proven as to be the greatest promise keeper of all time, more powerful than anything, even death. And you know what death does to us. It crushes us. But Jesus crushed death. But before the world saw that empty tomb, that was a one-of-a-kind kind of day. But truly, your days are too. You are one-of-a-kind. The challenges you face, the burdens you carry, the temptations you fight against, the specific encouragement you need to hear. Your life is one of a kind. And God takes that seriously. We see that when he fought for Joshua and the Israelites on a one of a kind kind of day. We see that throughout Jesus' ministry, Jesus stopping for individuals who had one-of-a-kind ailments, one-of-a-kind challenges. Somebody who was blind, somebody who couldn't speak, somebody who had sinned and was feeling really guilty. One by one, Jesus saw every one of them so that each of them could see and know the same thing you have the right to see and know when we look at Jesus. Surely the Lord is with you. Surely the Lord is with you. There's nothing you need to do to make that happen. Jesus already did everything. He did die. He is risen. He is with you all the time. Rest well tonight, my friends.